Viewers, welcome back. I just bought the princess earlier today. It's really awesome. Barely made it to 40,000 gold. And she synergizes quite well with my deck. It's not my deck. This is my deck. I switched out her for her and Skeleton Army for Spear Goblins and Minion Horde. I use Minion Horde to do Splash against the ground. Because it works like that. Like There's a lot of different troops hitting at the same time. So it can hit a lot of troops at the same time. And against the ground, it's like a ranged splash unit, almost. And I found that it worked well, more well, better, than the wizard did, or Valkyrie did, because I had to hit air with it, since hitting air is good. But then I got Princess, which is good. My other one that I switched out was Spear Goblins, which is a good ground distraction. And I also had Minion Horde, which was a swarm, lots of damage. But put those together, you get Skeleton Army. So, they seem to synergize quite well with my deck, and they also decrease the average elixir cost. So, since I got my princess, I decided I would play a few games. Now, first thing that I did was I just used my new deck against my friend Meow Mitz. Meow Mitz is highest trophies is 2402. He's a gemmer, he's not particularly good. But he's a good friend of mine. And he's fun to play with. So this is our first battle we did. This is me trying out my new deck against him and his legendary dense gemmer deck. Now he doesn't have the Sparky, and he really hates when I use Sparky against him, because it does substantial area damage. Now he's using a princess, I think, yeah, I think he's using a princess in his deck. So now we're just kind of like putting down cards and seeing what we can do. Yeah, he's, he's definitely got a princess in his deck. And we both have logs in our decks, both of which takes down the princess. There's my log. It's on next. I like that the princess has a huge area, so when the wizard was standing next to the tower, I could hit it with the princess shot. Now that wizard did more damage than I would have liked, used the log to take out the spear goblins. It didn't help the tower damage, but just helps helps me along in the game. Now I'm going to start up my master push. I'm going to have to put... I was, I'm going to use a princess to get rid of those skeletons and get the... That guy to hit the right stuff. The Sparky to hit the right stuff. Now, Bomb takes out everything. Every single thing. Now I'm just kind of pushing and taking everything down. This is what I call leave nothing to bury. Now, now this is the first time in the whole game that I use clone. Now I'm going to take down that tower. And at this point, I essentially just wreck everything out of him. And, and here I'm just spamming some troops at the last minute. To see if I can get a three crown push off. I can't. He actually at this end, he's got a princess, a princess wizard, one B push, which would have taken my tower if I hadn't distracted with the giant skelly. And over on the other side, he's gonna send some more stuff in. It's it's kind of crazy, but I would I would have taken out both both pushes, the which I could have taken care of too. So that was an exciting game, but really, Calvin, he created this thing called Scrub School, which is essentially where he puts down random cards. And needless to say, he's a kind of scrubby player. But he's a great guy, and I'd like to shout out to him for helping make this video, because it's really cool. He's not here right now. These videos were made earlier today. But just shout out to Calvin the Jammer. Now, this batch, I didn't introduce it. So, this one is one where I see how many princesses I can put down. You notice we both have Elixir Collector, Rage, Ice Spirit, and Skeletons, and Princess. Those are the five cards that really make up this. I also got Mirror in here, and Clone. He's got Skeletons in here. We've got the cards you need. So, I'm going to fast forward through this. Putting down Elixir Pumps, and I'm going to use my Princess to take down his tower. Clone the Princess, because that wasn't good enough. He, he can use his giant to take down my tower. Cycling through, I put down that. He logs the princesses before they take out anything else. Just cycle my deck. 
Now, now here you'll notice I I put down. See his logs coming in now. He he did put down the elixir collector, but a bit fast. Now right here I have to put down like a clone of nothing to cycle through my deck, right? I I, I think I was just like confused right there. But yeah, n now I've got my deck cycling well. All right. Unfortunate damage from his ice golem on my tower. <laughs> now 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 he's gonna take out the rest of it with that, and then it it, it was perfectly timed. He took it down just right. Right now we're just gonna start spamming the elixir collectors for a while here, and it looks like I just gave him the go. All right, so now I'll slow it down to normal speed. So here it gets exciting. I'm just cycling through my cards. I'm gonna hit my princess mirror. All right, rage the elixir collectors. I'm just cycling. Now what? I have to get a bunch of qu princesses going before I can take out the giants. But now the giants are coming close enough that we've got the problem with my skeletons are going over to them. So now it's taking down the giants pretty well. I've got some of the skeletons to go over. There I put the skeletons down on the wrong lane. And I put the princess down on the wrong lane. Oops. He's going to have to take out those skellies later. But the skellies luckily are faster than the princesses. So right here, he can distract them with a giant. And also, they're... The, Princess is arranged. I tell him log that to get rid of it. There he goes. He gets rid of the right side, not the left side. Now right here, I'm taking down his elixir collectors. Unfortunately, it looks really cool when they're all firing together. Now he's just putting down some last minute giants. I'm putting down some last minute princesses. Now here, that that was a big mistake that I made. I should have hit the clone and then mirrored the clone because. It's getting pretty close to the end, but I was kind of hoping for another push. And I realized I can't cycle. I'm going to have to clone it right now, because I'm out of Elixir Collector. So is he. I just took them all down. Now, I, I, I can put down my skeletons. One more princess. This is going to be crazy, though. It's going to be like a machine gun of insane range rapid fireness. Now, look at that. The giant pushes him back, makes them all hit him. He, the giant just finished spawning, and he's already more than half dead. And Princess isn't known as a big damage per second troop. And, and now the tower just gets wrecked. I, I counted 29 princesses, including clones. 14 clones, 15 actual princesses. One of which was hit once by the tower, because the princesses in the last second pushed it forward into the tower's range. Now our last battle... It's just a fun battle... Excuse me. Where we're both using princess cycle decks. And we're just kind of spamming all these princesses, and it's really fun. Unfortunately, at the end, my battery ran out. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you when my battery ran out. So, when, when my battery ran out, I kind of lost the game. Even though for the first part I was dominating. Up here, he's just, we're just kind of cycling random stuff. I, I didn't exactly know what we were doing right right now. We just kind of put, put random cards down. And pretty soon, we get into the full swing of the battle. And we were originally just going to see how many princess duels we could do. And there are princesses even. We are princess. Just, just kind of fun stuff. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll slow it down to normal for you guys. Because it's a pretty funny battle at some points. So I'm just spamming down the princesses. Put down another princess behind it a little as to protect it. So it doesn't walk onto the tower at the same time. Now they both get a hint off because I put the one back. Now this is where I get a whole lot of my tower damage for the entire game. Most of it, in fact. Right, now here I'm going to mess with his elixir collectors. Now his, his tower is almost dead. That was quite impressive, in fact. <clears throat> I should have packed my log to get rid of his princesses. Or, or some spell to just take him down, but <clears throat> I forgot to do that. He gets two hits off with that princess, but I'm going for elixir van advantage right there. I'm just kind of playing. And now I'm going to use my ice comb tank. I don't know. We're just going to kind of spam cards. It'll be fun. <clears throat> I love the way the princess looks, though. Like the fire, just huge amounts of fire. Now the Ice Golem death damage hits the tower. That, that, that's more chip, nice chip damage. He's just cycling through his cards. 
with this elixir collector by spelling nothing. Now he would have done better if he'd spelled my tower too. It was so funny. Now at this point, I've got the ice golem headed towards the tower. Now this will take a hit on the tower. Almost got another hit off. This one will get another hit off on the tower. Now I'm two princess hits away from winning. I'm going to use that to distract, and this to take out all three princesses, which is really quite fun to do. And look at that right there. All the princesses dead. I'm going to get another hit off with this princess, and it'll actually hit both of his princesses. <laughs> but his skeletons managed to, the double princess shot managed to take me down. Alright. Now I've got, like, so close to winning. If if necessary, I could, like, rage my princesses, like, all sorts of stuff like that. And pretty soon, though, my battery's gonna run out. I'm not gonna be able to, like, play anymore. I think it's about here when my battery runs out. I think that's coming up soon. Right, his log is very effective. I really wish I'd packed log. I don't know, but I still, my battery still hasn't run out, obviously. Alright, so now I'm going to use this to try and take down his princesses. And I, I, I do clone it just to, like, see what I can do. But he's using elixir collectors defensively, which is really difficult to overcome. So I, I was really wondering how I would get that last damage off. Fortunately, unfortunately, we never found out. I, I feel like rage was what, what I needed. We never found out, though, because... Battery ran out. Looks like it ran out right here. Yep. Yeah, that, that's definitely where it ran out. At this point, I looked over his shoulder. I saw him just spamming the princesses and taking down everything. I did use a defensive elixir collector because I saw what he was doing was pretty good. Now he's just going to spam the princesses and kind of murder me a little. Kind of annoying when you get sent away from the match by your stupid phone losing battery. But anyways, that was a really fun game until I lost battery. And look at that, five princesses and like just distracted by the tower. I mean, princesses are pretty good. So I'm really glad that I got the princess. This is some matches that I did with my friend Calvin. Meowmits. Special thanks to him. So now I'm going to do Nice ladder battle from 3070. See if I can breach 3100. This new deck. Haven't done any ladder battles with it, actually. Really excited to see how this will turn out. The Skarmy, I think, will do well against the new meta, which is Elite Barb's decks. So. Yeah, let's just go. Alright, Princess. It's so weird to see Princess on my screen. I don't know why he said good game. I guess he's got his push up. Push up. Maybe good luck. Maybe he is accidentally. Okay, I'm just gonna laugh at him because it's kind of funny. Gosh dang it. I, I have never felt myself hating logs so bad. Oh! Oh yes! Counter! You didn't see that coming, did you? Alright, let's see what I can do with this. <clears throat> Okay, uh, get the zap ready. Okay, what's going on? Oh, oh, those are both counters. Dimwit. Okay, this is my. This is the way I insult people. I use the word dimwit. Now I've got ten more damage on tower because my log is level two. Amazing level two logs right there. All right, I'm gonna support with just some like good troops and like see what I can do. Let's see. Okay, that that's gonna be ineffective, those fire spirits. Oh! No, not that! Not that card! Any other card in the whole game! Oh, come on, I didn't get a single hit off with either of those. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Relax. I could start with the Mega Man at the back. I don't know, have I used this card yet? I don't think I have. 
I haven't used my clone yet. I like to use clone when giant skelly's on tower when like I'm completely winning. It's also gonna be good against Skarmy though. With my Skarmy though. It's like oh he has got both of his legendaries are level two. Not the log, but other two. That'll take down my princess too. Wait, it didn't? Oh, nice effective bomb right there. Did I miss the princess? No, no, this is not this is not happening. Okay. Wow. Mega Minion does really good damage. Oh, oh my god, no. Okay, wait. Oh, I can I can scar me this. No, don't walk any closer. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. I think I've done enough. No, he's gonna I knew he was gonna elite barbs it. I haven't taken down that princess for so much time. That's bad. Die! I love it when my bomb takes down a zap wizard. Oh, I didn't get both. Okay. Why did I do that? Okay. Take the whole game back. Bring it back my way. Okay, that's going to take that down. I, th I think we're going for a tie right now. You gotta be aware that he's got a roll giant up and ready for wrecking. You'd better not zap. What did I say? All right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna like take the take full advantage of the bomb though. I, I love the bomb for my giant skelly. No, no, I should have put him on my skarmy. I need to log that. Okay, this this deck is not doing as well as I expected. I think it's because the Elector Wizard though. I hate Elector Wizard. I've always hated that card. Because ever since it came out, I've been a Sparky user, and Sparky is amazing. And Electro Wizard just kind of ruins that. Okay, yeah, he, d he doesn't have a chance at winning now. Right, this will distract and get everything bombed. See, everything got pushed back. Alright, unfortunately, we didn't win, but we didn't lose either. <clears throat> this is a fairly big amount of trophies for me. So, well, thanks for watching, and... I'm hoping I can get some more good stuff out of this princess. But, yeah, having a princess now, like, I could work on getting other legendaries, too. And I don't know if it could be incorporated into this deck. Well, I'm going to try that right now. Let's see, now, princess. You know, I could do the same thing I did with the other deck, because I've got spear goblins and mini horde in here. The question is, do I want to? Because I don't really use them the same way. I could. I feel like those are the two cards I want to get rid of. Maybe just Spear Goblins. Because I've got Fire Spirits and Elite Barbs for good ground distraction units. Elite Barbs aren't really ground distraction units, but... No, I'll, I'll try that out. I've got, I've got... You guys have time, if you're watching this. You guys can see this. Let's see if this works. Hmm. Prediction log. Die. What? Oh, I got a hit off on the ice wizard. Come on, take him down faster, faster, faster. No! Ah ha ha, dimwit. <laughs> Didn't pull him out of range. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna see. Let's see, what, what would his counters be? I, I would want to do Hog Fire Spirits right now, based off of the way his deck's running. Or maybe I could do Fire Spirits farther back, and then Hog Elite Barbs, 10 Elixir Push. Never mind. Other side. Oh, this could be painful, possibly. I'll just have to hope it's more painful for him than for me. Wait, what? He couldn't do anything about that. Are you kidding me? That's insane. Look at the tower damage on his king tower. Okay, now I'm going to have some real trouble. I'm going to have the same trouble he had. No. Oh, no. I need my minion horde, but I don't have the elixir. Oh. This will help for my crown chest, at least. 
What? Oh, I'm alive. I'm gonna do this. This will allow me if, at least a few hits. <laughs> oh, he didn't pull it into range of the tower, though. That's silly. Alright. If I can get a good hog of leap barbs off, then he loses the whole game. My Wi-Fi broke. Not, that's not a good time for this. Not at all a good time for this. Alright, let's try restarting... Clash Royale application. I hope my Hog Elite Barbs push actually went and it just wasn't registering that. On my screen. That could take out his tower. If I hope I come back seeing myself getting a 3 crown, not being 3 crown. Although, I'm not sure if there was there's a whole lot that I could have done differently considering that I just used all title elixir and if you got a push coming, it's coming in right now. Question is, did he successfully defend my push? Is my Wi-Fi even working? Will you work Wi-Fi right now? There we are. We've got Wi-Fi. Okay. Will we load already Clash Royale? I want to know if I've won. At this point, the match is definitely over, considering that he's got a giant Sparky deck. Mm -hmm. The question is, did he manage to beat me? Or did my Hoggleet Burps push beat him? A Sparky? That would have protected it. It would have only had like 500 health left, but... I did not, in fact, win. Unfortunately. But, let, let's see. He definitely three-crowned me. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get you the end of this in a second. I, I guess my... I, I, I'm going to assume he sparkied it. I'm sparky up again. Because that was really bad timing for my Wi-Fi breaking, though. It's, it's almost like Clash Royale specifically wanted me to, like, lose. That was a really badly placed tornado, though. He could have tornadoed it backwards. And that would have done the job, I think. That Yolo push really paid off there. Then, I, I shouldn't have fireballed it. I should have minion hoarded it. That, that was my biggest mistake right there. Okay. Alright. Oh, my, my Huggly Barbs never got sent. Oh, that's what happened. Alright, well, thanks for watching. I'm going to see if I can... Good plays... Either of these decks really, but both times I don't think losing was really my fault. Because considering that he just put down a giant like right when I, I sent the hog elite barbs, I, I think that I would have three crowned him. And the electro wizard, you know, I I don't do very well against those decks. I never have. So I'm hoping the princess will be a good asset. I'll notice that both of these players that I fought had princess in the, in their decks. They both had ice wizard too. So I guess Princess was a good choice. I, I see a lot of Princesses in the decks that I face. So, thanks for watching. And, hope you watch some more videos soon, because... They're coming in a lot.